Dracula beat the Fox. Now he is rewarded with a Martha and a Peach. Yep. More of like the... We got, we got the Martha first. You know, that's, that, that's well said, honestly. See, yeah, you know, she goes pretty well against either of those characters, too. All right, so that's that's another um, F smash that, that gets punished. And I don't know, I mean, I feel like Kikoho has gotten some of these F smashes to connect and turn into either stage control or straight up stocks, but I'm, I'm just trying to keep an eye on, like, I feel like, uh, in general, Connecticut is a region that has a style that is, like, willing to scrap. Yes, and, willing to, like, really be down the trenches. And be, and like, a little more aggro, um, and they are good at it, and, yeah. and they're, they're sick. Like, they're, very good. <laughs> they're sick. It's gone this far. Like, we saw like, all how unique their style has been so far, all the side views, look at that. Look nice the pivot classic, tipper. The classic pivot tipper by the edge there, gets it that, gets it there. But I, I do feel like in this particular matchup, um, that can turn into, like, a lot of eaten punishes for the Marth player. Mm -hmm. Because you, you know, are trying to impose your will in a way that, you know, he, he's got down tilts that, that are really good in this matchup. He's got fairs, he's got nares, he's got even F Smash cool itself. Like, yeah. you know, he's got good options that you, you can be, like, a little bit aggressive. But at the same time, Marth uh, against Sheik, I feel like Sheik, uh, when she gets a punish going at, like, this type of mid-level, uh, it's just, it takes a little less effort for the Sheik than it does yeah, for the Marth. Marth. Yeah, because you know, it requires a lot of, like, you know, trying to work around Sheik's grab, you're trying to get other techies in there, you're going to find yourself in. And, like, Sheik's aerials do such a number on Marth for edge guarding. Right now, Marth finds himself Ooh, double coup. Sick. Because that slick gets on there, no problem. Gets the back of the close to stock, too. So, like, yeah. And I think, I think off the down throw, because the grab happened in the middle of Battlefield, my friends, and... Doc Lob did down throw, reverse fair, and then it was the quick poof ledge grab into the bear. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that that's like brain dead or super straightforward or easy, but no. that kind of stuff, like she just has it. And uh, toolkit to do it, and they use it pretty much perfectly there. Like as the Marth, when you get grabbed there, you, you, you have to eat something bad no matter what. Yeah, that's the thing about the reality with Sheik is that you know, no matter who you're playing, it's like you know, you're like, all right, I'm getting grabbed here. What's gonna happen after? Me? I'm gonna pop up and hit an aerial. Or I'm like, I'm gonna have to get text somewhere in there at the moment they don't read where I'm going. And it's usually results, you know, when you get re you get tech chased, where you like eat like alright, I'm gonna eat like this area, I'll take a little bit of extra percent. And yeah, Kikaho is the one who sent him to losers. So so we have a pretty cool run back from earlier in the tournament. One of those situations where Doc Lob is absolutely looking for vengeance. Wants to revenge and wants to take on Wally, who's sitting right now for the winner. Ooh. So the, the re grab there, but doesn't get much of a follow up, though. So, yeah, I didn't quite love the um, grab because Sheik had no jump. And if you're like rapid fire and really quick with some of your, let's say, the instant up airs or other, if you're going with like a tip of fair to keep Sheik airborne, mm -hmm. you have options as the Marth to really maximize the fact that Sheik has no jump there and is at like a kind of low mid percent um, you don't have to give them their double jump back by by grabbing yes. it still can be great what he ended up going for was a forward throw into attempted tipper but it was a percent where doc lob was able to call a uh, survival di in that situation Live that one kind of, kind of move from there yeah to just di away and and, and, smash and, and avoid avoid the f smash but yeah. That was that was nice. Yeah, was very very simple sheet thing, but you know it's good. He gets the job done. Now gets a grab here. Gets the F tilt for extra percent. Yeah, and right now he's going for spot to the down throw. Ooh. Ooh, he's in there for that though. So that's a situation where like, do you really want to commit to waiting and countering? Because it's not like you know sometimes when you're Marth against Falcon, you can down throw and then counter because Falcons love to like double jump knee double jump or knee double jump there or something. Yeah. And, like like that's just something they like to go for if you throw them off. Uh, but against Sheik, it's not as popular of, of like a retaliation or, or counterpunch if you happen to throw them off stage. But it would have worked out there for Kikoho if he, if he did just kind of counter. Exactly. And right now, you know, Dothlop's setting him off the stage again. Holds the ledge. Ooh, hold ledge. Okay. Yeah, he calls out the edge guard there. Eats to death for it. And right now, Kikoho just trying to find another open, but eats a four air and that and does it for that one. Dothlop have a pretty commanding game too there. Yeah, really, really clean. Great combo game, able to close up stocks when he needs to. Even despite like the call out there, was still able to close up stock relatively easily, considering the percentage there. They go to Yoshi's for game three. So smaller area, but still like Sheik. Probably make use of those platforms if they need. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, 
I can understand Marth wanting to play here because this is one of my favorite stages against Sheik, and sometimes he, I prefer it over FD as well. Depending on the Sheik in question, if I just tried FD, how, how did it go type of thing. I do feel like on paper, um, Marth's favorite matchup should be FD in, in this matchup, but, but you can really uh, make Yoshi's work for you, but I feel like you're opening the door for platform play to you get know, in the way, kind of like, kind of turn against you at some point. Yeah, it turns into an objective, sort of, more even task for the Sheik than, than winning on FD. Check, though, on that was great, too. That was great. Alive. That defense, again, reads the side oh. of the shield, finds the opening in between the execution as well to kind of get a grab. And finds so, open. we saw a, like, good player head shake in the player camp. We know about, like, the, the good player nods or the AKA, like, FGC nods. Yep, right. Um, right. Uh, but that time, it was while he shield grabbed the startup of the fourth uh, iteration side of the side B. Like, and uh, Doc Lob shook his head like, "What are you doing, dude?" Like, okay. it was one of those types of head shakes, in my opinion. Very different than what he usually like, does here. And see right now, has he go off stage once more? Goes up and yeah, nice, nice. Socked. Sitting all right right now, but is Yoshi's gonna be careful here? And is, is it a case of maybe like a slight download from the first set they played in winners to now also a full two plus games in, in losers? Run back. Uh, all right, I know what you're gonna do now. If you do it right now, I'm gonna find a way around it. He's probably been thinking about that too since then. The like, week, he made it back. There might have been a like stylistic element of surprise or shock for Doc Lob when he was first trying to overcome Kikaho earlier. But now he just... Now he has something going on here. He has more of an knowledge right? He wants to do this here. Now here's what I'm going to do to return instead of what I did the first time. Right. But usually it's going to say like a Calvar or something else like that. Dash attack me out of the corner. That was great. Cover the platform there too. and sends him up. Oh, and even that up to <laughs> was crazy too. Yeah, that was... He meant that. That was cute. Timing. I, I do... Got down smash? I do find it funny when Sheik begins her up B from a grounded state and you get to see that whole like the, whole, the, up, the, the, the upper move. body motion that the she does with she does. the arm movements yep. like Very, it's like a Ishikai thing it's like a witch's brew Basically. type of like I don't even know yeah it's, it's some Zelda lore yeah to start breath of the wild I've heard a little bit about it oh okay but, interesting yeah okay ooh these fairs are coming oh up. I like ooh, the down air down air and trying to fire back now so really nice juggling they trade at the end though and oh down. but ooh the re came in a little bit early though Wow. Okay, nice up B. That does kill. Okay. That, that's the last stock situation now, but he's in at 7 but, 7. Four, yeah, and, and grabbed right in the center of Yoshi's shy where, guys the box Like, there was no possibility for attack on a platform. He just had to eat some the sort of hit. Down air gets the coverage and ends it right there. And even with a ton of the end to maybe show that he had the download there. And stock all of a very, you know, close at the end, but a very solid 3 0. And now he finds himself right into Grant. He's going to take on 